Hi everyone, as I promised in the last video, in this video I'm going to explain you uh, how I have made this text animation here within the codices. So as you can see here, I have the option of changing the size of the font up to a given value which I have indeed determined and I also can change the speed in which we have the animation so the text here goes from right to the left and I can also easily uh, change the text here like I can type Nazar Bayev University which is the university in which I'm currently working and I can also stop the animation or have it uh, working yeah now I will show you how to do this indeed the underlying uh, PSC program and the settings that I have in the visualization part uh, let me maybe stop this here I, I have uh, indeed the main PSC program and one main part of it is this string animation function block which I have developed and I can show you here the contents of this string animation and it's here in it I'm using uh, three main functions here left, right and concat left and right receive the same input string and they also receive uh, the size so you can see here yeah, both of them have input string and the size with the left indeed I receive the input string uh, which right now is it's Nazarbayev University and then since size is 1 I pick the first letter the leftmost letter in it which will be N for Nazarbayev University at the beginning and what I do with write is that I take the rest of the the string in it so here the input string is the same and for the size uh, using this len uh, function I determine the length of the string and then subtract one out of it and then take the uh, the remaining in it uh, characters so if I here I have N, here I will have other by university in it. And then here with concat, I'm combining those two with each other. And if you pay attention to the order, first I take the rightmost part and then I put the first character. And as a result, the output of this concat, which provides me the output string, will be indeed the input string in which the first character is taken away and has put in the rightmost part and if I do this repeatedly it will be like having the text moving from right to the left side so this is what I have within this uh, function lock on the other hand in the PSC the, the main PSC program I'm calling this function block but to call it repeatedly within the CFC I'm using this blink uh, function I have the enable input and you already have seen how indeed I enable or start the animation or not or stop it uh, PSC program yeah here so if the enable input is true it receives time low and time high and it generates the blink uh, in its signal, yeah, true, false, true, false, and to determine the the frequency in it, I'm using the same value for time low and time high. However, I get it through this speed variable. This speed variable is determined in visualization uh, here, and then I'm subtracting 100. Uh, speed from 100 and the result is uh, converted into time value and as a result here I will have uh, some some time value as I change the speed the amount of time here will change and as a result I will have uh, a given frequency of the signal at the output of the blink and then I want 
to to call this uh, an area rising edge of the signal that's why you see R underline trick here it receives the output of blink as the input and then it generates the output here we will have a sh very short pulse in it every time that we have the rising edge at the input of R trick and another input of the string animation is indeed the string to animate and string to animate is uh, determined here so I, I have shown you how to change it by clicking here in the run mode uh, and I will show you how it is associated with the string to animate this function block has enable in and ena enable out. Uh, indeed, when you choose to put a box in the CFC, you have the option of having this enable in, enable out, or without it. But here I needed to have it because I need to call this function block at given time instances. The output of this function block indeed is uh, the input string where the first character has been moved to the rightmost part then when this is done when the function block is done the enable out generates a pulse and using this r underline I I indeed it becomes true and using this r trig again I detect the rising edge of that pulse which is used as the enable input of this move function and in that case the a shifted in it, shifted string will be written into the string to write st string to animate variable and next time it will be used as the input of the string animation so this is the whole thing that I have in terms of coding for the fu to string animation function block as you can see here and the main PSC program where the string animation function block is uh, being called. Uh, let me also s explain you what I have in terms of the visualization. So these are only labels. I guess I need to log out to show you the details. This is a label. These two are labels as well, so they don't do anything. Here I have this uh, button, deep switch, which is associated with enable animation so if it's true we will have the animation if not we will not have the text will be stationary here I have the text max the text variable you can see here that f for text I have percentage s and as the text variable I have string to animate variable so whatever we have for this variable will appear here in order to change the text I have this button here and in the input configuration on mouse click I'm writing a variable you can add this indeed write, write a variable property and you will see that here the, the settings is like we, I need to have a text input and the, the variable is string to animate which will be written based on the text which is provided here so this is indeed how to write a text variable using this uh, button if I click I'll be able to provide the text and that text will be assigned to this string to animate variable regarding the font size uh, I have this slider which determines the the size of the font font size and here indeed I, I need also to mention that for this text field uh, I should have some font variable and the size here is taken from font size variable and the speed I guess I already have explained you so here uh, we have the speed as the variable and this speed variable is used here to determine the time low and time high of the blink which will generate indeed the clock for our system uh, okay so I guess that's all the things that I have here one more thing here is that you can have the text uh, 
the animation of the text moving to the from right to left or you can do it as moving from left to right as well as another option or you can have a case in which you can change the you have the option to change the color of the text as well or or maybe even the font of the time font of the text if you wish okay so that's all for this video I hope you have enjoyed it in case you need to have the source code even though it's straightforward to develop but you can uh, write your email address as a comment underneath the video and I will uh, send you the archive of the project Thank you for watching and see you next time.